This is a case of failed supraspinal upper calicial puncture. Access to all the calices through the single puncture could be achieved. In fact, 48 years old male patient left loin pain, multiple calicula in the lower pole and upper pole, and the RGP shows acute 180 degrees up and down stones. Lower pole separate. The CT is not a very informative because in relation to the RGP only we can understand the complexity of the case. When you see these stones, three stones are below, three stones are above, and uh, see the complex type system. 180 degrees opposite, no angulation. From the lower pole, you can go to the upper pole, but there is angulation. Three dimensionally, whether we can do go or not, we did not try. So first, we did a lower calicial puncture. We punctured, we dilated. All these stones are removed. Luckily, through the uh, puncture at the po the confluence, without any bleeding. all these stones are removed but the only thing is that we attempted from this calyx to the upper calyx stones were seen but because of the large burden we thought we will puncture separately but we failed see we went like this the stone is seen initially we thought this much uh, angulation actually the supine and pcl it is very easy to go to the upper calyx even then we thought we will attempt uh, uh, upper calyx puncture these are all the small stones here and there in the inferior calyx fortunately everything has come out with the dilatation and puncture now when you see uh, we we thought uh, we will do supracostal puncture and go and remove because there some torque was there quite good attempts are given upper medial the problem is one stone was there lateral that stone was getting hit and guide wire never passed because it was impacted and large amount of stone was medial without guide wiring impacted we could not uh, do further dilatation also under dilatation and then repuncture also we did not attempt see now again by desperation attempt either uh, either uh, ecirs or the uh, same scope smaller scope has gone easily into the upper calyx now one 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 stone when we are removing this is a true advantage of supine pcl where from the lower calyx to upper calyx because upper calyx looks down posterior the scope looks down like this and when you look down with the scope um the entire uh, stone burden is reached from the lower calyx to the upper calyx and then removed so uh in a reasonable good number of patients with our experience in ecirs and supine pcnl we feel that we can reach uh, uh, the upper calyx from the lower calyx even the lateral most posterior also we could reach the stones because it is more posterior more superficial uh, the entry point of the uh, supine pcnl lower pole can give access to the upper pole as well as the upper ureter also these points we observed that uh, in retained stones or upper ureteric stones we can go through the lower calyx also uh, through the see this is the posterior lateral superior calyx everything we could reach even the small clots small stones everything reach uh, even this is the most see at the end this uh, angulated upper calyx could be reached from the lower calyx thank you